welcome to the best and worst song off each uh, rancid album the uh unedited version of this like post stream will be up on my patreon with the music on it other than that i will have to probably take it down and, and edit it for youtube so that i don't get claimed a bunch but it's all good though we're not really here for the song because we've all we all know all the songs we're here for the discussion at least that's what i'm here for so welcome everybody uh, thank you for hanging out. Please, if you haven't done so already, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I guess don't like the video if you haven't watched most of it yet. If you like the idea of it and you want to, go for it. At some point, hit that little button though if you like what we're doing over here. But subscribe to the channel. We do daily content to some degree on this channel. And I do podcasting. I do band interviews. And I do video essays and mini uh, documentaries. I'm working on one right now for Metallica. I'm working on another one for a band called Camera Silence. So we're talking everything from French punk and hardcore all the way down to like 80s thrash metal stuff and everything in between. Punk, ska, oi, all that jazz. So on today's video, we're trying to prepare for the Rancid and Green Day show that's coming up. I'm going to be seeing them in less than a week. And I thought, you know, um, everybody knows my favorite albums. I'm, I'm about to do a top 10 bands and a top 10 Texas punk bands video as well. Everybody knows my favorite record. At least as far as I understand, everybody knows it. It's out, it's out come the wolves. Um, but what are the best songs on that album? What are the best songs on the rest of their records? I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's a pretty good conversation to have. If you haven't done so, please like the stream if you're on the stream and you're, and you're about to have some fun with us, man. So uh, I just wanted to help get it out into the, what do you call it? The ether. Out into the interwebs there we go man sorry it took me a whole ass minute all right so we're gonna start way back at the beginning in 1993 with rancid self-titled i'm not gonna play every song off the album because that's ridiculous let's see here let me pull up I think I know what my favorite songs are on here, but I'm not sure what my what my least favorite song would be on this album. Uh, this is an album that I listened to a lot when I was younger, but as the years have gone by, it has fallen further and further down the rankings for me. I just don't, I, I can barely consider it a rancid album because it doesn't have Lars on it. Um, but I mean, overall, I like most of the songs on it. Let's see here. Hmm, okay. I think the the consensus would be that Rejected is probably the best song on the album. I like Out of My Mind. Whirlwind is really good. Get Out of My Way. Hyena. Ooh, man. It might be Hyena. Alright, let's play a little bit of Hyena. That's Adina, sorry. Okay, oh, they have a music video for this? Oh, dude, okay, we might just have to watch. So This is going to take me longer to edit than I anticipated. Okay, so yeah, the, the, if you're here for the stream, do consider yourself lucky. Otherwise, it'll be on Patreon with all the music and the videos and stuff. Uh, hyena music video, let's check out some of this. Oh, wow. Was that Lars? Ha, it was. That's cool. Man, look at look at look at how young they are. Babies, dude. Brett Reed looking like a twelve year old. Remember the uh the fashion statement of like gas station workman shirts? Gilman Street sign, that's cool. Yo, why is this video quality better than most of their modern videos? Or like maybe like their mid '90s stuff. What's up? With, that's weird. Yo, 
Yo, does Tim have a goatee in this? Hey, if you watch him, look. Watch, watch how he walks. He looks like uh, Rob Aston. <laughs> he looks like Rob from uh, Transplants, bro. That's funny, dude. Okay, that's going to be a very close call. I do think Ernesto says, Hyena has always been my favorite Rancid song. Okay. Hardly play when they do. Yeah, I mean, I would like to hear that. Um, the production of this album is really good, says Bruno. So raw, but you can clearly hear everything. I agree with that. What's up, Dave? Uh, my phone's about to die. That's what's up. <laughs> Get out of my way. See, that's okay. So that's the one that I was thinking. I was thinking Get Out of My Way. I love that song. Hey, Julie, what's up? I was thinking Get Out of My Way. So let's see... Okay, no, that's my favorite Rancid song on this album. Alright, so let's figure out the one I don't like. Let's see here. Alright. I think Unwritten Rules is probably my least favorite song on here. The rest of the albums should be much easier. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Freeman's vocals a lot, especially on the Rancid stuff. I like it on Devil's Brigade quite a bit, actually. I don't know why he doesn't do vocals like that on the Rancid. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that. That's an um, an anomaly to me. The 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 Devil's Brigade stuff because it's way way different, man. Like as far as his vocals are concerned, it's it's like considerably different. Let's see, Unwritten Rules. Let's see, Detroit. I don't remember Detroit either. Like I have a hard time remembering songs by their names. So I have to listen to a little bit of them. My apologies. No, I like Detroit. Detroit. Okay, so all right, I think we figured it out. Um, okay, so the best song on rancid self title 93 and this is a oh dude hold on before we go any further calm down 
It's a subjective list. Make your own list. Tell me in the comments which one you like better and how wrong I am, I guess. I don't know. People get so upset. This is my list, dude. My opinion. Get Out of My Way is my favorite song on the album. And I would say that Unwritten Rules is probably the song that I like the least on self-titled 93 i just i'm not a fan of matt freeman's vocals at all um it, yeah it well on that album i'm just, i don't know man and the rancid stuff i've never been a fan of his vocals i don't know why uh i think the next the next album is gonna be a little bit easier all right Ooh, i don't know man finding the worst one on let's go is gonna be hard okay Let's move on to, oh, I keep forgetting they have two albums with the let in the beginning of the, <laughs> oh man, that's funny. No, all I wanted was an image, dude. All I wanted was a Pepsi. I don't, I don't like Pepsi. Okay, let's talk about, let's go for a second. Try to decide. All right. Let's see. <laughs> My wife's amazing. I don't know if you're watching this, babe, but yes, that sounds awesome. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Wow, this is actually going to be harder than I thought. So... One of my favorite songs on Let's Go is International Cover Up. This song is so good. Back down, up, back down, cold up. Rise up, no rise up, short up. Lock down, lock down, cold up. International Cover Up. Back down, up, back down, cold up. Rise up, no rise up, short up. Lock down, no lock down, cold up. International Cover Up. What about the state of the union? What about the gays of the union? What about the kids all mad up? Okay, so we got that. Let's see here. Hey, make sure and like the stream, everybody. We got a fair amount of you guys on here. Uh, so please give us a thumbs up. Comment on this giant. Get us into the algorithm. Algorithm. Okay, I'm still looking at these songs. Give me a second. I, dude, this is actually... This is pretty tough. I know exactly what I'm going to say with the next album. Okay, let's listen to a couple more jammy jams. And then, uh, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't remember what this one sounds like. Dude, I'm so bad with, with names, dude. Let's see. Okay, so burn. Let's see, what do we got, what do we got? You know what? The the title track on on this one, I think. Okay, here we go. 
You found it? Yes. Awesome. Where was it? It was between the couch. Oh, it was between the couch? Oh, okay. That's, that explains why we didn't find it. You want to come say hello? Hi. Also, what's up, Sam? How you doing? What's up, Joe? Come here. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Want to wave right there? Look, right here in the camera. Say hi. <laughs> here let me see it let me charge it for you here go sit down and i'll charge it for you while i'm doing my work and then when i'm done with my work we can play some games and watch your pad for a little bit okay i love you, I love you too. oh man that kid is crazy crazy kid all right dad stuff is accomplished yo parker come here you got half battery on this thing sorry guys give me one second you want to watch it yes. here you can watch it for a little bit mm -hmm. awesome all right little bear i love you i love you too dude oh thanks buddy i love you too <laughs> uh what's up sam joe harry uh julie dave ernesto bruno this is gonna be a fun time today okay sorry back okay back to the the punk rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, let's go the title track. I don't remember what that one even sounds like. Jimmy said he could handle this. Oh, he's from Los Angeles. Oh. Yeah. Jimmy said he could handle this. Okay, okay. Ooh. Definitely not the worst song on here. Okay, let's see. Uh... Okay. Trying to not get like flagged a bunch. Let's see. Ooh, I know. I like that song. Okay. Okay. So I think I figured it out. I think on Let's Go. Okay. Ernesto says that his favorite is Salvation and the worst one is... Wait. Name? You mean like the title track? Oh, no. Name. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. I think you have, I think you have, uh, Ernesto, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I think you have, yes. <laughs> Sam says all the songs on this album sound the same, but you love the, you love the album. I, and you're not really wrong. We've talked about this on the podcast a couple of times with Rob. Uh, Scott Levine says this album is basically all bangers for the most part. Yes. But I think, I think Ernesto is right. My first inclination was to say that burn was the worst track on let's go. I don't think it is. I think it is name. Dude, the best song on Let's Go is obviously radio, dude. Like, it's not even a debate. I don't I don't see how you can have a debate. Um let's see. Dude, Harry Bridges is really good. I really like Harry Bridges. You know, Seven Years Down is a song that doesn't get talked about enough. Let's check let's check that one out for a minute. Down 
Absolutely incredible song that gets forgotten a lot. Bruno says, notice how the guitars on this album are so buried in the mix when everything else is playing. I don't know if it's buried that bad, It is, but they are pulled back a bit. Um, Beaver says, radio is up there, but can't forget Salvation and Dope Sick Girl. Uh, Dope Sick Girl is a great song, but it's not even close to my top five on the album, I don't think. But it's a very good song. Salvation, however, is. And so, uh, who asked for that one? Ernesto? Okay, so Ernesto, I'm going to play Salvation for you, broski Dusky. Show me what you got, yeah I want your salvation, whoa Call a bill, I want you Show me what you got, yeah I want your salvation, whoa This neighborhood called Black Hawk Where all the rich people are high I was out of my local for the salvation show With the shelter is out here inside Every day we drive to Black Hawk We pick up the offerings Microwave or refrigerators Full of tough ones Call a bill, I want you Show me what you got, yeah Come up and I want you show me what you got there I want your salvation Whoa. I can't believe these people live like kings Here in a state Totally forgot about the music video. I'm sure I'm hold on. I'm an idiot. I for, sometimes you're gonna have to remind me about music videos. Start this one over. Show me what you got, yeah I want your salvation 
Man, what a great song. What's up, Megan? How you doing? They do look so young, don't they? Tim Armstrong was ridiculously handsome. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's a good looking fella. So is Lars, though. Um, they all have like that look that you, it's like, I don't, how do you get blessed with that? Like, what do you, what, <sighs> Ernesto says, anyone know why there are two versions of this video? The alternative video has a bunch of people from the fifties dancing. I've never even heard of that before. And I've seen this one probably a hundred times. That's interesting. Um, okay. So I think we've come to the conclusion that the two songs on let's go that are the polar songs, the book ends, if you will, would be radio is an obvious pick for the best one, right? It's my personal favorite on the album. There's a lot of one, a lot of songs on there that would be like, you know, 1A, B, and C, though. There's a lot of really great songs. But the song Name and even the song Burn are pretty bad. Name, I think, is the worst song on the album, though. So, yeah, that's that's the, you know, probably to get more play or they couldn't agree on a video. I, oh, yeah, that's probably, probably couldn't agree on a video. I, I don't know. Pro it's probably something done later in, in, in the life of the of the band, I would think. All right, this one is super, 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 super easy to figure out the best and worst tracks off the album. Um, the very first Rancid song I ever heard was Time Bomb. Hold on. If we're going to do this, let me do some music videos on the ones that I know have music videos. All right, so I'm sorry. I'm not going to play the entire song on some of these, dude, because uh, it's just going to take us three hours to do this. So I'll play some clips, but I'm not going to play the whole song. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, Dave says, Motorcycle Ride is about a girl named Sarah, and that's my son's mom's name. That's cool. Uh, Beaver says, same here. Time Bomb was my first song I heard by them. Bruno says, this is probably the best front to back punk rock album of the 90s not a bad song on it i mean it's my personal favorite record of all time so you know jerry finn doing magic with the sound agreed tim's yes will never get old to me i agree with that beautiful planet um also i do think there is a song on i'll come the wolves that i would consider like i don't know if bad's the right word but it's not a good song let's listen to a couple more of the of the bigger songs off the record though roots radicals man <laughs> All right. Man, that's a good song. The Way I Feel About You is my worst song, says Ernesto. Wow. Okay, I like that song. What's your favorite one? Let's see. On the hits, there's going to be also... Oh, dude, we also have to think about... Let's see, what else we got on here? Olympia. Lockstep and Gone is a great song. Lockstep and Gone is good. This is the one song that I can definitely hear a very, very, very Clash influence on. Like, it's very, 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 very Clashy. Here, hold on. Sorry. Oops. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. I got crap everywhere in here. I got stuff all over my room. I'm sorry. It's it's a very it's a cultivated big mess in here. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> That's a big guy. That's Brickin. If yeah. anybody's not familiar. Don't forget, I need to go to church today. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll sure make it. Let me finish my stream and I'll make you something to eat. Right. Sound uh, good? Yes. Okay. I, I just wanted to make sure you weren't planning on doing that while I was there. No, I remembered that you had church tonight or, earlier, so I'm doing my stream with my buddy Justin from that band, The Havoc, at uh, 8 o'clock, and then my, or not my stream, excuse me, on my podcast, and I'm doing the stream at 9. Okay. Yeah, so you're good, bud. I'll make you something to eat here in a little bit. All right, thank you. Um, you oh, that part's from a Clash song, really? It's like a direct part from it? Okay, well, that would ex that would make sense then. Uh, More's End should have been the last track. Mm, I don't know about all that. I've always felt avenues and alleyways is the perfect closer to an album. I always try to skip the way I feel about you. Oh, man, I love the way I feel about you. Hold on, dude. That song rules. What are y'all talking about? Just to throw me back down. Apologies to lay where you're up against the wall. 
Man, y'all are tripping, dude. That's on rules, man. I mean, well, it's a discussion, though. Everybody has what they like. Likes what they like. Okay, so... Um, my favorite song on this entire record is also my favorite song of all time. It's Journey to the End of East Bay. I want to shout out to Dally City Train real quick. Hold on. He was an artist. This is a song you can't understand a thing he says. So we're going to listen to it for a second. Hold on. And a writer. And a poet. And a friend. Um, Sandy says, or S- Sand101 Bouncy says, Dally City Train is the worst by far in your opinion. I mean, we're all entitled to our own opinions. I mean, we're not going to all agree on everything on this. So, But I, I love that song. Um, he said that the album's nearly flawless. It's hard to pick a bad song off of a perfect album, isn't it? Um, Cam, what's up, big dog? Says, grew up in the Bay Area, pretty much like it all, except the 2000 album. Thank you, dude. That album sucks. Rancid Rules, one of the few metal heads that likes them. JJ says, another metalhead here that digs them. Nice. I used to always see Rancid all the time. It was great, especially the free show they did at Toxic Beach. That was a crazy one, says Kim. That, man, shoot. Um, something Butterflies Howl, <laughs> says Ernest, Ernesto about that song. Okay, so uh, the best song on the album is not even a hard choice for me. It's incredibly easy for me to decide. It's Journey to the End of East Bay. Dude, I'm I'm very, very, very po- uh, famously... Like I'm famous, I'm known for not liking the 2000 album. I can't. I, do, I It's got two songs that are good, and then a bunch of the B sides and outtakes are pretty good. <clears throat> so I can compile a, an EP, which I'm gonna eventually do. I'm gonna put together the songs that I think would make a great EP and put it up on here and talk about it a little bit. But yeah, no, I don't. I don't. I just don't. It just no. Dave says it takes a real punk to enjoy the subtle nuances of 2000. Then I'm a fucking poser. I don't care. No, for, no effects this cover of Olympia was really... Eh. Yeah, I did a whole live listen to 2000 and I tore it up. That is absolutely correct. I did do that. That album is... I mean, but nobody was really even having nothing to say about it after I got done. This is the part of the song that just gets me choked up. When they play it live, I damn near cry every time. Started in 87 and then in 89 We got a garage and then we play in a time Dude, so... The way that he says that too much attention unavoidably destroyed us. I love the way that he put that together. Um, that's my favorite song um, on the on the album. It's my favorite song of all time. Uh, Bruno says everybody charge the guns when we reach Rancid 2000. Oh, dude, it's gonna be very. That's that's an easy. Well, actually, no. The worst song on that one's hard for me to pick too. The best song's easy for me to pick. Um, so journey to the end of. Okay, so the 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 best song. On and out come the wolves is journey to the end of East Bay, and that's pretty easy to come up with. Also, the worst song is is pretty easy for me to come up with too, man. Uh, that would be Junkie Man. I've never liked it. I don't know why. I don't. I, it's just not a song that I enjoy. I'll play a bit of it, and we can talk about it for a minute. I just I don't know, man. I I don't skip it because it's a three minute punk song. I don't have to skip it. But like, I very that's not true. I guess I've skipped it a, a fair amount. I, I leave it off of mixtapes is what I used to do when I was a kid. So I didn't skip it. I just didn't put it on the tape. Everything else I would put on there, but not, not that song. Let's listen to it for a minute and I can explain why. I just don't even like this opening guitar riff. Ugh. I will say though, this is another instance that is similar to the Rancid 2000 thing. Is this the worst song on this album? I think so. But it's so far better than most other bands' music that it's kind of one of those things where like I'm arguing like what is the worst of something great? Just like with 2000. It's the worst Rancid album in my opinion, but it's also the best band of all time. So like their worst album is better than most bands' discography again in my opinion so we're arguing semantics sort of like i just get tired of people telling me how great that album is because i just don't get it i don't i don't see it i don't hear it but uh it's still a rancid album it's still i'd rather listen to that than most other things out there so that that deserves being said um you know and i understand why they made it too i just don't agree with it just because i don't like it doesn't mean i don't get it Beautiful sword, he's riding on 
the rivers of Babylon Oh, blood on the shore and up a freak on the brightness See the sword and corners falling up and I see a likeness The door to rise a little to the misery And show it when you're brought up You're caught up in a system that is going No one else, no one takes a dog so I don't like the chorus. I don't like the opening guitar riff. I like the the verses okay, but there's that part where it has like the little bridge where it breaks down. I don't like it. Hold on. Okay, so like this. So like the verses I dig, it's everything else that I don't like. So it's like, again, we're, 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 we're being super picky and choosy here. So whatever, right? My hand went blind. You were in the vein, clairvoyant. You were in the vein, clairvoyant. My hand went blind. I make love to my trans sister. My trans sister. And my transparent seed from the balcony. I looked out on the big field, on the big field, it opens like the cover of an old Bible. And out come the wolves, out come the wolves, their paws trampling in the snow, the alphabet. I stand on my head, watch it all go away. Yeah, just not, not into it, man. I don't know. Cam says... Junkie Man and Dopesick Girl bring back a lot of memories. I spent over 15 years in the tenderloin, gnarly, and grimy place. Glad I made it out alive. I'm glad you made it out alive, too. I spent about a decade doing junk myself. So, Honors All We Know is my least favorite album. Ooh, no, not even close. That's in my, like, top half. I like when Jim Carroll comes in with the Outcome of the Wolves. Uh, aren't you wearing a rancid 2000 hat? Probably. I can't like the logo. My bad. Sorry, Cam. Didn't know there was that kind of rules to punk rock. Um, yeah, well, my wife bought me this hat at the Rancid show, so I just work because it's the only Rancid hat that I have. But yeah, Dave says Troublemaker and Honor are my least favorite. Yeah, I mean, Troublemaker is like my second favorite Rancid album, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't like Junkie Man's just like, so okay, so yeah, we've established that my personal take on it is for Outcome the Wolves, it is Journey to the End of Beast Bay is their best song. Junkie Man is the worst song on that album. Again, we're talking about the worst song on a basically perfect album. It's like a 9.99 album for me. I mean, it's a 10. It's a 10. All right, now we're going to talk about Life Won't Wait for a minute. This is a little bit more complicated. It's a very long album. It's got a lot of interesting songs that don't really... Um, yeah, man, this is, hold on, this is, we got, we're, this This one may take a few minutes. So, Life Won't Wait, I don't consider the intro to this a track, because it goes into Blood Clot, which is just a freaking fantastic song. Hoover Street is really good, Black Lung, Life Won't Wait's a decent song. New Dress, I like, Warsaw is a good song, Hooligans, Crane Fist, wow. You know what song that never gets talked about a lot? The Wolf is probably one of my favorite songs on the album. Corazon de Oro is a... All right, Coppers, let's see. Coppers is the last track on the album. Let's think about Coppers. Oh, no, I don't know how you could not like this song. I love this song. Yeah, around to the dock, is upon a track. Imagine that. All punk rock muscles move inside. All trick muscles move inside. I am from all to Brooklyn, Tona, Coyote Studios. Where I got bullets. London, I'm gonna find them. New York, LA, back to Kingston. All I see is you fighting. All I see is you fighting. London, you're gonna find them. New York, LA, back to Kingston. All I see is you fighting. All I see is you fighting. I like the world sounds and the guest vocals on this on this song a lot. Um, I wouldn't call it like the best, but it's somewhere in the middle. Um, okay, let's talk about some of these. These comics real quick. Uh, Sand says, Let the Dominoes Fall is my least favorite. Oh, that's definitely my top five. Life Won't Wait is my favorite album. Says Beaver. It's very good. I got a tattoo on my throat. Dave Slayer says, I like Dominoes. Uh, the Pizza? Me too. Ernesto says, The intro is the worst. I don't consider it a song, personally. 
If I did, it it might be up there. But there's another song on here that I don't like more than that. But, I, but this album is incredibly important to me. So not liking a song is another one of those exact same things as I'll Come the Wolves where we're talking about stupid bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dave says, who doesn't love a good boom shaka laka 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 Hey, shimmy shimmy shake, shimmy shake, shimmy shimmy shimmy. I, I love that song. JJ says, the that's Wild Dominoes is a great one. Not their best, but great. Um... All good, I just thought I'd mention it because we're talking about how bad the album is. Wait. Oh, the hat? Yeah, yeah, I don't... Yeah, it is kind of ironic that I wear the hat. I mean, I like the cover of the record. The photo on the back is stupid as shit, though. But, uh, there. Is that better? <laughs> I don't wear backwards hats very often. But, yeah, uh, this was the only hat that I saw that I liked. I like the dad hat style. It fits my head pretty well. But, yeah, you know. Let's see... All right, let's talk about some of the other songs that are really good. Dude, 1998 is a song that doesn't get mentioned enough. You hear that fucking bass tone, dude? That shit is gnarly, bro. All right, listen to this, dude. White stones creaks, nice and before. Brothers talking shit, motherfuckers slam the door Hit the streets running, cannot take it anymore In the ranks of a train, I cut all up the floor On a park bench door and sleep it in for free Little kids sitting in the shooting gallery Set yourself up for innocence to misery But is this what you want? Not to win what they fucking say Say, yeah, yeah Hang it out with Sid yet again in the USA Really great song in my opinion. Another one that's really good is Wrongful, Sus Wrongful Suspicion is really good, but it's just kind of a slow jam. But uh, Turntable, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Super dancey song. This is a good song, dude. I like it. Wouldn't call it their best on the album, but I like it. Yeah, dude, another great song. Uh, it's a short one, too, so if you don't like it much, it goes by really quick. Um, let's see, what else we got on here? Who would have thought is the one I think a lot of people either like it or hate it. It's a pretty polarizing song. Warsaw, New Dress, Black Lung, Hoover Street, Hoover Street, Hoover. No, Hoover Street's really good. Blood Clot's really good. Bro, look at this video quality. My goodness. Is it got oh man, that's bad. You hear that guitar thing? It sounds like it's like they do that a few times on this record. I don't know what they're doing with that, but I like it a lot. It's very unique and uh just Dude, I don't know. It's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Inherently rancid. It just sounds like them. Like, it's so good. If you listen to the record, do you feel the same? Hell, it don't get any better. Going backwards again. Whoa. Swing your fist, wreck stitches in the face. Hurts like me, I just saw it out with grace. Never been like them with their society. God protects me. Oh, no, I got to stop that right now, dude. If they're going to edit these songs, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Whew. Okay. Ernesto says, I love cocktails and hooligans. Let's check out, let's check out, uh, hooligans. 
Hooligans is decent enough, but I haven't heard cocktails in a while. Let me let me think. What's that one sound like? I think I already know my my picks, but I gotta I wanna Where's it at? There it is. Broke, choked, dope, the line is choked. Smoke the last dollar to a name. Are you buying? Are you selling, girl? Talking square, never change. And if I really want to know what it means for her to be free Oh, she's missing cocktails in a squat down Avenue C Lord of mercy! Yeah, good song, man. I really enjoyed that one a lot, actually. Uh, Bruno says, who would have thought music video as well? I didn't know that. Ernesto says, to me, this is the perfect Rancid album. I never skip any songs on this record. It's hard to pick a, a, a one that I don't like, to be honest with you. Dave says, the guitar is sick. I agree, man. Red Hot Moon is my favorite from Indestructible. Ooh, that's a good song. Uh, Dave says, Crane Fist is another one I don't care for much. Let's just, let's check out Crane Fist. I mean, they've got some songs that are like, I wouldn't say they're bad, but they're ones that I just don't like super, super look forward to when I hear them. Every, every band has that, though. You can't have as much... Within the same quality music as Rancid does and not have some songs that are a little bit different. Oh, I think this might be my least favorite one. I'm not sure. The idea was but still we were too Cash Culture and Violence has Dickie Baird on it. That's pretty rad. Lady Liberty is a good song. Um, okay. So, with Life Won't Wait... <clears throat> oh, that edit did throw me off, dude. That was so so bad. Who would have thought might be my favorite? Or Black Lung says Beaver. Uh, Back Up Against the Wall off Indestructible. That's a great song, too. Ernesto says, Worst thing about this record was the CD booklet that had nothing but weird subliminal photos. I, yeah, 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 I have to agree with that. Um, Beaver says, I like Crane Fist, I love the tempo of it. Interesting, okay. Hooligans is great, says Sand, I agree with that. Ernesto says, the devils and the witches are looming at me, I love the song. So I think I think that, that I, I can confidently say that Crane Fist is the worst song on Life Won't Wait. It's the only one that I don't <clears throat> really like. There's a bunch of songs on here that are like decent enough, but there's a lot that I really love. And there's only one that I don't really like, and it'd be that one. Or, or the intro, but I'd rather listen to the intro than Crane Fist, to be honest with you. But this is the best song on Life Won't Wait. It's called The Wolf. I didn't trust it. Could smile at me first. Just like... The wolf before he bites me And I didn't cut it I swear that it was cursed Just as if it was to despite me I thought the better than the beast In a hundred place I put it on the side For the last couple of years Skylights and image All image of chaos All of the notice Isolation of pain I'm on the desk for losing everything Credible artist and symbolic, I guess A delicate balance 
Sorry, I was trying to listen to that whole song, bro. I love that track. Um, but yeah, those are my favorite and least favorite songs off of the Life Won't Wait record. <clears throat> Let's see. Dave says, I got to be in a certain mood for Life Won't Wait. A lot of it seems like a prequel to the transplants. Mm, I don't agree with that personally, but whatever. Um, Bieber, you agree with Dave on that? Bruno says, Clockwork Orange is an outtake on this album. Should have made it to the track list. I hate that movie so much that a song called Clockwork Orange, I'm just going to say no. All right. All right, Indestructible. Let's see. And I know I'm in the so, okay. Do I want to end up listening to the whole damn album? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Indestructible. Let's see. Warsaw is my favorite off the life one. Wait, interesting. Okay, that's a good one. What's up, Nitty? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right. Sorry. Okay. Dude, that wolf is stuck in my head right now. I didn't find where it was All right. Let's see. Oof, man. There's so many good songs on this album, though, dude. How do you pick a freaking song off this one? Like, dude, Tropical London. Born frustrated, back up against the wall. Stand your ground. Sheesh. What a good record, dude. Hmm. Oh, I think I know which ones I might. This is really hard to figure out, though. Um. Do what now? Chillin', chillin'. Uh. Bruno says, you skip Rancid 2000. Dude, I don't like that album. I've said that like 500 times on this uh, on this stream. Like, sheesh, dudes. It's like people don't listen to me. And Out Come the Wolves and Indestructible, in my opinion, are the two flawless albums they released. Every track is good. Uh, Indestructible has a couple that aren't good. I like Domino's better than Indestructible, but my favorite three records in this order... Actually, my favorite four is going to be And I'll Come the Wolves, Troublemaker, Let's Go, uh, Tomorrow Never Comes, in that order. Um, no, I was just trolling Dave specifically with the 2000 skip. All right. Okay. Rants of 2000. I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I very much don't like this record. Um, the production's bad. Lars's vocals are absolutely terrible. Tim's vocals aren't very good. Um, but the lyric writing and the, the production on it is very bad. Uh, Matt Freeman's bass playing and the lyrics are, are very, very good. But I just, this album, it's just, I can't, I just don't like it. It's like they just went in here and they're like, man, we want to be so punk rock. Listen to this. And I, ju I just don't get it, man. They're the most punk band of all time. Like, what do you need? What are you trying so hard to impress people that don't give a shit for? It's weird, man. Okay. You said there were three good 2000 songs. No? Which ones? Which three? Is asking Sand. So, what is your name? Sand? Sand? Sand 101 Bouncy. Okay. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure I don't say your name wrong. Okay. So. In my humble opinion, goodness, it's hard for me to pick out songs on this song on this album. Radio Havana is a good song. Got 
That song is pretty good. Um, you said take off the first two songs and it would be a perfect rancid album. That's a fucking stretch, but the first two songs are definitely songs you can get rid of. Bro, it's just like, it just sounds squeaky and the vocals are so bad, dude. Oh. Look how punk rock we are. Oh, good grief, dude. All right, let's check out this gruntle. My goodness. Dude, the guitar tone is so scratchy and itchy and just squeaky and awful, man. Ugh. You like the production of this album? That's wild, bro. That is a wild, wild statement. No, I don't listen to them for pretty vocals either, but I don't I like the way they, they naturally sound. They don't have to try to sound a certain way. Like they just I guess Tim might do that, but it's kind of a come how he sounds, but like yeah, I mean, we've argued about it plenty, Dave. I don't really give a shit. This album is pretty bad. <laughs> it's terrible, man. <laughs> His voice is cracking, bro. Like... They both have great voices. They don't need to do all that. It's like they were just trying so hard to make a... Like, this dude puts a discharge. I don't know about all that. But, like, yes. It sounds like they were in their discharge phase of listening to music. And they were, you know, maybe they're having a bad time. I don't know. There's got to be reasons why they made this. Uh, obviously, I'm in the unpopular side of the argument. People like this record a lot. I just don't get it. No, oh, no, bro, no. Can't do it. It's bad. All right. You know what really bothers me? Is that I've listened to this album so much since I started this channel that I think I am starting to like some of the songs. Dave, I'm holding you personally responsible for this. What the shit, man? Um, JJ says, unpopular opinion. This would be a good album if it wasn't rancid. Well, that that I've said that a million times. This should have been a large Fredrickson and the Bastards album with a slight bit of maybe tempo change on some stuff, and it would have sounded a lot different and a lot better, in my opinion. San says, I like Black Hawk Down and Young Al Capone. Uh, no, I don't like it. Bruno says, I like the production of the album, considering it's a hardcore punk album in a rancid way. See, that right there is stupid. It's a hardcore punk album in a rancid way. Like, I don't want to hear rancid try to do something that they're not good at doing. I can understand why people don't like it inside of rancid, but I dig it. I mean, and, and also, at the same time, like, if you like it, I say, go jam it, dude. Like, go listen to it as much as you can. Support this music. Listen to these bands. Um, just because I don't like a particular record. I love rancid. So if they wanted to, if this is the only, if they said, you know what, we're taking all the rancid stuff off of spotify except this album i would still listen to it like it's whatever man it's all good <clears throat> but i think dave is making me start like some of these songs dude i used to hate this song and i'm like finding myself kind of bobbing my head to it <laughs> hey dude people change opinions change taste change it is part of being a human being Sorry, one, I, I'm trying to think of songs I don't know, the, know off the top of my head. Sorry, one second. I'm trying to think of songs I don't know off the top of my head. This would be another one.
See, they had me at the beginning. They lost me as soon as he started singing, dude. I like the beginning of it. I don't like that transition either. I just don't like that sound. And in his vocals, he sounds, instead of just singing like Lars, he's like forcefully screaming it and it just doesn't sound good. Yeah, man, I don't like that song. And the thing is, is I hold these guys to a particular standard, man. Um, you know, so whatever though. Rancid does every genre, so I guess. I mean, sure. I mean, you're not you, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they do. They don't do all of it as good as they do some of uh, some other parts of it, in my opinion. Uh, okay, Poison. Okay, so like on this song, it's not that it's a bad song. It's just like, I feel like it's a filler song. Like they, they, they are so much better than this. They're so much better at writing songs than this. So I, that's what, that's my issue with it. Um, it's okay though. I'm going to, I'm going to find three that I like. There's three on here that I did. I dig. All right. Loki. Dude, I just I hate the vocals on it, man. And the transitions are I just it's just too messy for me. I don't know. I Yeah, I don't really even I'm I mean, I haven't have explained this for like the 50th time. You never know. It's just to see. And that's how we like it. Just sounds like a freaking soundtrack to a shitty cartoon, man. Yeah, dude. Not not feeling that one. Black Hawk Down. I think this one's probably pretty good, right? I think I... I think I at least at least used to like Black Hawk Down. Yeah, dude, I just don't know what they were doing with this, man. Loki's your favorite, Dave? Bruno says, I think the only three songs of this album you like are Radio Havana, Let Me Go, and maybe GGF. I think Radio Havana is one of them. I like songs that sound like Rancid songs. <laughs> Rwanda, let's try Rwanda. Rwanda, This one sounds kind of like a Life Won't Wait, like B-side or something. Yeah, that sounds like a B-side off Life Won't Wait, maybe. Not the worst song on the album, that's for sure. All right, corruption. They all. I will say. I will say, man. One of the one of the big pluses on this album is that it's it's not super long songs. I do appreciate that. In my for like in my opinion. All right, corruption. <laughs> Scott, I 
Alright, antennas. You're selling sexism! You're selling racism! You're selling anything you get your fucking hands on! And understand that you got a plan! Dude, do they not all sound the same to you guys? They sound dun 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 if you like that, you're gonna love my new record, man. It's called Fuck Off. Presentation advertisers who demand it. When you claim that your intentions are pointed in the right direction, you make a deal in that situation. When I was young, I think I liked this song pretty good. Uh. <clears throat> Antennas, was, that's a pretty decent song. But I'm like writing down some of the songs on it that I like a little bit. And I'm going to tell you guys all the songs I like on here. And then we'll... I'm trying to race through this pretty quick though. I don't, I don't want to take two hours to do this. Rattlesnake, let's go. Sounds like a fucking Reverend Horton Heat fucking song. Can you hear that little slapping me? Fucking necromantics, maybe? Yeah! For weeks you're falling, that's what done. Hit the call, they draw you back, so when you were two, using me, you. Ugh, man, dude, so bad. Alright. It's not even that. I just don't like it for like rancid songs. It just doesn't sound good enough, dude. It's just not good enough. Not to regret. Dude, his, his vocals sound so bad on this song. Are you serious, dude? All right, Radio Havana. Okay, yeah, this is a good one. Left the atlas like a sand trick. Walk a current to play back. 57 Chevy with the radio on. It's a sad song that goes on and on. It's your music in front time. Radio Havana. Music in front time. Radio Havana. Oh, Fred said, gotta make a choice. Yeah, dude, Radio Havana's a solid track. Um, Alright, Axiom. I hate that so they couldn't have they have to go like the it's that let's go thing that they do like, they, it, I don't know the, the chord progression on some of these songs I don't like I don't like the guitar tone I don't like the production I don't like the vocals there's so much about this record that makes me just go ah but they're I'm okay but I'm coming around to a lot more songs dude like six months ago I would have told you two songs or let's say a year ago I would have said two songs Six months ago, I was talked into liking three of them. Now I've got a little handful, a little EP here we got here. I can't dig this though, bro. I don't know. I want to know. I want to talk to Lars and ask him, like, explain this record to me so maybe I can understand it better. Like, that's the thing. Is I want to go on record, dude. I want, I want Lars to tell me about this record because I want to understand it. And I want to know if maybe I just don't, if I just didn't understand it for all these years. I'm cool with changing my mind. If people don't like that I change my mind, then fuck, I don't care. But like, man. Uh, which one was the contender for the worst song, Dave? Bruno says, Rwanda is a cheap, catchy chorus that doesn't fit with the rest of the song. It sucks. I mean, I don't agree with that, but whatever. Um, Dave does. Young Al, Al Capone is good. I don't really think I like that song. Antennas uh, is one of the better ones on their album. Lemmy said, Rattlesnake is the best Motorhead song that Motorhead didn't write. Necromantics of Dead Bodies. Version of Dead Bodies slaps. The bass. Let me never told me that, but it sounds like something he would say. 
<laughs> Necromantics did it better. I would say that's accurate. Lars said it in an interview, so I believe it. Rancid was supposed to back Motorhead for some songs, but it never transpired. That'd been cool. Radio Havana is a good song, but it feels out of so out of place in his album. That's why it's a good song. It doesn't sound like his album. Uh, listen to the basal of Axiom, I guess. Let me go is a good one. Yes, Matt Freeman at his finest. I don't know about all that. My feelings. Stop it. Well, stop liking bad shit, dude. <laughs> Let's see. Rwanda. That's Dave's favorite song. All right, that's interesting. I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> Dude, every guitar on, on this record has this weird, like a dun 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 dun. dun, dun. It's like this galloping guitar that they're doing with the with their picking. I don't like it. Like you can hear the rhythm in the in the background. I think that's Lars doing that too, man. Which really bums me out because I fucking love that guy. Yeah, dude, objectively hard to play, not aesthetically easy, pleasing to my ears. Um, I've also I've already heard Maxwell murder. I don't need to hear. I mean, I'm sure he's done that exact same uh, solo on a live show a hundred different times, and I've seen them play a lot. So, like, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I just I, I don't I don't see the appeal. I don't agree that it's that great. Um, I don't really understand how this album has got the reputation that it does. But it does, so what does it matter what I think, you know? I'm smart enough to understand that what I think doesn't really matter much. I do know that. But I am a big rancid simp, so I feel like, you know... I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Have you tried to get an interview with Tim or Lars yet? Not yet, I'm going to. Loki or Rattlesnake for the win? Mm, wait, for the best songs? I don't know about all that. House, Houston, Houston, I like your name, Houston Rockets. Apparently this was Tim's response to someone at Epitaph describing a band as how Rancid used to sound. Oh my goodness, dude. Hold on, I'm sorry. Jojo, chill, buddy. Sorry, the dog was tripping out. Um, apparently this was, what, Tim's response to someone at Epitaph describing a band as how Rancid used to sound, and then Tim wrote this in response. Oh, that's terrible. That's, 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 that's exactly what I've been saying for all these years, and everybody's like, no, uh they just really wanted to put out a hardcore record. No, dude, they were being insecure, they were all up in their feelings, and then they wrote this shit, and then... You know, it... Joe says a lot of people dismissed Rancid for jumping on the hardcore bandwagon with this album, which is absurd considered the first self-titled album. This is not even close to as good as 93, in my opinion. But, you know, it's Rancid 93 with... I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Very different records. But, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm done arguing about it because I don't really give a shit. Okay, I was on Axiom, right? Where's that song at? Okay, Black Derby Jacket, let's go. Meteor of War. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so I don't like that song very much either, but I can here's one thing that I'll say. I can imagine that this is probably much better in a live setting than on an album. At least in my opinion. But Joe says, that's the beauty of music. We can we can agree to disagree without people's feelings getting hurt. I don't know about all that, dude. Dave seems to cry about this shit all the time. Big old pussy. Alright, dead bodies. Oh, man. That one I'm kind of like on the fence about. I don't really like it. Rigged on a fix. Charles and Doran never seemed to want it. The $64,000 question. The three are fixed. End of innocence. The original TV scandal. It's true. If one of the other guys had sang this one, I think I would have liked it. Uh... Um, <laughs> Dave. <laughs> <clears throat> Meteor War or Rwanda are the two worst songs you have, in your opinion? I don't, I don't know about that one. I, I don't know. Also, weird choice to make a self-titled album with a completely different sound than your other albums. A self-titled album should be your core sound. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, Ernesto said, my feelings hurt. <laughs> uh, it's all good, dude. People tell me how much Rancid sucks all the time, and it, it kills me a little bit inside, but it is what it is, right? Dave says, Black Derby Jacket isn't great either. You're making me dislike this album. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, these songs are probably way better live. Man, this is this is hard for me to even get through. Young Al Capone, here we go. I'm about to piss everybody off. Chuck Berry, what? Huh? What? Huh? What? So this is the best performance by Lars on the record, in my opinion. Bruno says, if I remember correctly, you like Sick Sick World, which is an outtake of this album, and it's similar to some of the songs you don't like here. Okay. I don't understand the comment. Um... Yeah, I like Sick Sick World, ironically, because Tim doesn't make any sense on that album. And yes, I've said millions of times that they've had outtakes and B-sides to this that would have made better cuts on the record than what actually made it. So yes, I do like Sick Sick World. Yes, it is an outtake from this album, and it would have made the album a lot better. I don't know if that appeases what you were trying to say or not, but like, 
Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. Ha I don't have to have a reason for liking or disliking something, and I can also like something that is black and then dislike something that's gunmetal gray, even though they're very much the same color. You know what I'm saying? Like it, you know, I can like pizza from this place, but then over here, this place has a little bit too much, uh, you know, oregano in their sauce, and I'm like, ah, I could taste that, or too much basil in it, or something, and I'm like, I can taste it. It's overwhelming. I don't really care for it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can go to one place that's got chili con queso with chips, and I really like it because they just put, like, the chili con queso with a few peppers and some fresco on top of it. But I go to this other place, and they put chili con queso with the fresco cheese, the peppers, but they've also got a whole bunch of cilantro in there, and I don't really like that, but it's still queso. So, you know, you can like a bunch of stuff that's really similar and dislike something that sounds almost the same, or watch a movie that's the same and dislike something else. You know, I also heard Sick Sick World uh, at a different time um, separately. And I just liked that isolated song. So there's a lot of reasons why you could like things and dislike things. And I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, even though I know I probably do. That's just how I talk. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like Six Six, Six World's awesome. That would have been much better in this album than most of the songs on the album. You know, Uncle Pone, I just, I like Lars's vocal performance on this song. And I just don't like the music behind it very much. Okay, so I'll say that this is my favorite performance by Lars on the record, so um, I'll have to just put this one on here as a reasonable song, just because his his vocal performance was actually... If he had sang like this on the other songs, I think I would probably like the record more. Not, I don't know if I'd like it a lot, but I'd like it more. Um, I said Life Won't Wait was the precursor to Transplants, but 2000 was right before they went and did side projects. Maybe that's why it sounds disjointed. Possibly. What's the worst rancid side project? I don't know. I like them all, but for very different reasons. All right, we've got a couple more that I'm going to play you my best and worst. Reconciliation. That dun, 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 time change is just not doing it for me, man. This Matt's best singing on the album too, though. All right, GGF. This is not drugs, no damn. This is not oil with fire. When the fields wide open, I put the horses drop the biggest hide. Yeah, let them roll, let them ride, let them go down them tracks. Let all wind blaze and roll, let them wind all exact six full on four pillars. Song's okay. Um, so okay, on the whole album, it's 22 songs. The only two songs that I actually like on the album are "Let Me Go" and "Radio Havana," but it's quite all right. "Black Hawk Down," "Rwanda," "Antennas," "Antennas" I might put on there. Uh, and "Young Al Capone" I can see being decent enough songs. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're at seven out of 21. That's 33 percent, not even 33 percent. If you add on their Six Sick World," we're at like a three out of ten, bro. Um, all right, 
Let Me Go is the best song on the album. Hold on. Ernesto. Dude, you're about to get banned from the channel, bro. You like this shit, and then you don't like the Tim Time Bomb stuff? You're fucking crazy, dude. That's wild, bro. Yeah, we, we very much disagree on that one. I think, because, like, the Tim Time Bomb stuff is some of my favorite shit, man. I'd say Landfill Crew is probably their worst, though. We do agree on that. Wow, that's crazy, dude. No, they're not created equal. I do agree with that, Dave. Uh, later, Megan. Um... GFF is their best album closer ever? Bro, what are you talking about? What the fuck? That's crazy. Alright. So this song is the best one. So on, on, on 2000, Let Me Go is the best song on the record. I'd say... It's a coin toss between Don Giovanni and Disgruntled. Which one's the worst? I'm going to say Disgruntled because it's twice as long. So, yeah, man. This album as a whole, I just uh, I can't get behind, man. It's, it's not, not what I like to listen to. All right, Indestructible. I'm going to have to edit the shit out of this, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is going to be kind of hard, too, I think. Okay, so the, it opens up with a really great album opener. Indestructible is a great song. I'm not going to go and listen to the whole thing. Fall Back Down is a fantastic single and a song that, like, the lyrics are a little bit corny at times, but I love it for that same reason. song it's one that when i first heard it i was kind of like mm, and then the more i listened to it, the more i like it red hot moon's also a great song david courtney uh start now another lesson has been learned i miss days modern times stranger no no this is a good song uh out of control django django That one sounds like 2000. I don't like that song. Um, okay, so is this one though. Let's go! Wiki's an oil seek information leak up for Russia's way! Yeah, dude. Out of Control and Django sound like they're off of 2000. There's a different production, and I don't like them. Travis Bickle. That haunting keyboard in the background is kind of cool. Overall, you know, I love this album though. This album is so good, dude. Memphis, this song. Get caught, street kid from the start, right? No regrets, no. I do what I want, yeah. Cause I said so. No seat for the weekend, right? No bed, no. Rolling with the punk rockers. I ain't lying. Fake guns, fake bands, fake punk. I ain't buying. Hit the road, hauling no rock and roll. I ain't dying about 15 deep. We hit the streets, no riding. By the time we're headed to the Rollins, we're hustling half past three. By the time we're headed to Memphis, we were cool. Hustling half past three. By the time we're headed to Memphis, we were crazy. Tonight, you're all blanket. And you're gonna keep us warm. 
I like that subtle keyboard, man. They got that dude from Interrupters doing the keyboards. I'm about to do a Green Day video like this too because it's much easier because I don't like a lot of their music. <laughs> um, Ivory Coast. Go! Oh, yeah. Go! Go! For 24 hours on the Ivory Coast. Yeah, I like that song. It's a good song. Damn, this album's so good. What are y'all saying over here about this record? Favorite is Memphis and worst is Ivory Coast. Interesting. I like both of those songs. Ernesto out here with the heat, though. Out of Control could have been on Rancid 2000. Yeah, a lot of those songs could have. I like how Tim covers songs from other genres. He's an encyclopedia of music. Yes, dude. Yes. You should do a 10 time bomb stream one day like this one just so I can point out how much it sucks. I mean, you like pretty bad music, so I mean... Oh, me, yeah, maybe there's Homeboy on the keyboards and this. I just meant like when I see them play live is what I was talking about. Um, the album intro on in this is fantastic as well. You're right. Other sides, the album. Also... Oh, dude. Dude, I don't know how you could like the GGF better than this as an album outro. That's crazy. Stand Your Ground's really good. Bro, that song is so fire. I love that song. Wait, what? Rob who? What? Oh, from... uh. Wait, who are you talking about? Ernesto? I'm so confused. You're not talking about Rob Aston, are you? The album has a couple of fillers in the second half, but it's a good album. I love this record, but it's not my favorite record by them. Um... Favorite song, though. Man, that's a hard, hard decision, honestly. I thought it was going to be easy. It's not. What did I say? Start now? Another lesson has been learned. Dude, no, that song's really good. My stomach's starting to growl. What were the two that I didn't like earlier? There was only two that I don't really like on this album. Dude, Tropical London's really good, too. No, David Courtney's good. Oh, oh, it's Out of Control and Django. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that song very much. And then Django. I like it better than okay. So I think I think Out of Control is my least favorite on the album. It's not by a lot, dude. I like the, I like the whole album, man. It's really really a great record. Um, I think Memphis might be my favorite. This is a hard one. Or Stand Your Ground. I gotta I gotta make a decision here though. I'm gonna have to go with Fall Back Down. I have I. Memphis is very close. Um, it's really hard for me to figure this out. CJ Richie, what's up, dude? Oh, Lars's brother, Rob. Bro, you had me tripping out, man. I forgot his name was Rob. Uh, the delay will make us have like things that we say, and then I'll you'll you'll say something and I won't catch it, and then I'll say something and you won't catch it for like two minutes. It's so annoying. Um. CJ, I'm glad you're here too, brother man. Okay, I think I think that, yeah, I want to say that Out of Control is the worst song on the album, and then I'm going to say that Fall Back Down is the best song, but I think Memphis is a very close second, and Stand Your Ground is a very close second. Both of those songs are incredible, and they're, they've all three of them work for different reasons on different days, different times. Uh, other side, you like that one as, as far as what, good or bad? Beaver, you skip over Django. Yeah. 
All right, let's move on to Let the Dominoes Fall. This is going to be such a long stream, dude. It's okay, though. I love you guys for hanging out with me, man. I, I really appreciate it, dude. It makes my day better when I'm hanging out with you guys and gals. Everybody that's here, man, it makes my day so much better. And I don't mind arguing about this stuff with you guys because I know it's just us talking. Like, if Rancid was going to play 2000 on tour as a whole album, as that was their set, do you think I would go? Of course I would. No chance I would miss that, bro. And honestly, I'd like to see them play it all live. It might change my opinion on some of the songs. I think later in their career, they got better with opening their albums. I think East Bay Night is one of the best Rancid songs, period. Another East Bay night. East Bay night. East Bay night. East Bay night. When the sun goes down and the night come around and the bar come a rolling in. When you catch the man to go dance one time and an open bar to win. Hear a punk rock song and we sing along. Everything gonna be alright. Francisco Bay, Alcatraz over the left field, and reminisce on my front porch under a yellow light. Another East Bay night. East Bay Damn, what a great album is this, dude. You know, I could do a rancid stream every day. It's so easy. <laughs> Ernesto says, I love hanging out, but my feelings still hurt. <laughs> I feel you, bro. When you said that about the Tim Time Bomb thing, that one, it got me. kicked me in the nuts. I was like, oh, ah. Uh. Eddie says, fall back down is my favorite. I can't pick a least favorite. Okay, okay. And, you know, you don't have to. That's my job, unfortunately. Um, I run a Rancid 2000 support group, Ernesto. <laughs> Dave. Oh, uh, dude, Dave always. Look, you know what? We can bond over that album, though, because like I dislike it. Y'all love it, and we can just talk about it all the time, and it's making me like it more because of you guys. I mean, look, Dave. Dave, you can you can attest to this. I used to like only two songs. I'm up to seven, dude. Y'all might have me like half the album before it's all said and done. This Place is a pretty good song. Up to No Good is a fantastic Rancid song. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No one is safe here. We're all in danger. The that corridor. I see a stranger robbing a red circuit. I see a walker. Lock your doors now. I hear a knocking. Lots of no good. Lots of no good. Like a spark on a wire. A split of wood. Best intentions get misunderstood. But that motherfucker is up. Lots of no good. Lots of no good. Lots of no good. Lots of no good. Dude, nobody does a dancey ska song right now better than Rancid. It just doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> you're going to need to sign up, Ernesto. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Last One to Die is a good song. Oh, they have a video for this? I didn't know that. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Oh, that sounds so bad, though. Like the audio quality. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. Um, Last One to Die is a good song, though. Disconnected. Oh, that's a great song. I ain't worried about it. God damn. Uh, yeah. Okay. How many times did you tell me I was wrong? But I didn't listen to you and I only say strong. In a world where people don't hang on too long. I belong. I belong. Prove me wrong. I ain't worried. That one sounds like a Life Won't Wait song, kind of. Ooh, Damn Nation's really good, too. Downtown, tell me what you're seeing. Tell me what it's like to get the old cold feeling. Spend all night yeah. just a looking at the ceiling. Living in a blown out hotel building. All the machines are broken down. It's bro, y'all see me smiling like a little kid over here, bro. This album is so good. New Orleans. 
Wait, New Orleans, is that the one that's got the... Yeah, dude, it's such a good song. Okay. Bravest Kid, Civilian Ways, Skull City. Let's see. No, I like Skull City. LA River, that's the one I was thinking of. <laughs> so good, dude. Uh, Lulu. Mm, it's okay. So Domino's Fall. Liberty and Freedom is a fucking good song. You want it, you got it. Locomotive. The Highway. Oh, one, yeah. Two, three, four. Not close in one night stands. Let's short it them off again. This is my life living on the highway. It's all I've ever done, all I've ever known Just wanna play one more show And I make all music with my friends yeah. Working class culture seemed on Bleak side of the American experience Bro, I don't know what song to say is my favorite uh, Ernesto, it's just the way it is now is a jam? Really? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on Dies. Next one wins the prize And that's the big surprise There's demise in all of their lives There's no two legs to live a lie That's just the way things are That's just the way it is Good times gone. First rule that always fail. Second rule never tell. Third rule straight to hell. White collar criminals living in jail. It's all that they gave. Soldier's soul to get paid. Put you in an early grave. Cure on neck you can save. It's a letter that you can't send. It's a wound that would never mend. Pain level peaks at ten. Some stand out, some stand in. That's just the way things are That's just the way it is now That's just the way things are That's just the way it is now That's just the way things are 
That's just the way it is now Really good song, but I wouldn't put it in my cl my top of the album though. Let's see. I think the hmm. man, I don't even know which one I would pick as my least favorite. I'm gonna say Lulu is probably my least favorite on the album. And dude, this is really hard to pick a top song on the record for me. Uh, I want to say L.A. River almost, just because I'm gonna say Liberty and Freedom is the best song on the record. The best song on Let the Dominoes Fall is Liberty and Freedom. The worst song is probably what did I just say it was? See, I can't remember because the whole album's so good. What was it? Oh no, actually, you know what? I ain't worried. How many times did you tell me I was wrong? But I didn't like Dude, it's so catchy though. Uh What? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I try to be strong. Fuck, this song is so good, dude. Uh, Bravest Kids is really good. Skull City. Yeah, it's gotta be Skull City. I don't know. I like this song too, though. Dude, this is actually pretty difficult. Uh, there's something about every song that I like, though. Sounds like freaking let's go. I love it, dude. I'm gonna... Gosh, I have to pick one. I'm gonna say Skull City, I guess. I guess Skull City is probably the worst song on the album, but dude, this whole record is so good. Alright, let's go with... Uh, I gotta wrap up here in a minute. Honor is all we know. Okay, oh man, this is, I love this album though, dude. I know that a lot of people don't like this album, but I, I really do. So, okay, Back Where I Belong, very good song, Raise Your Fist, Collision Course. Let's see. Yeah. Love that song. What were you saying, Nitten? You said that the song is such a clash ripoff. You're tripping. Tripping about what? I just said that they're better than The Clash, and I agree with, I wholeheartedly stand on that. Fuck The Clash, that band's super mid, dude. No, Fuck The Clash is an extreme thing to say, but people that get all pissy make me say shit like that. Ernesto, dude, thank you so much, man. Uh, dude, it'll be up on the channel. It'll be up on there, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be up. I'll, I'll leave it up, I'll leave it up till tomorrow, and then I'll put it on Patreon with an edited version on the, on the, on YouTube. Uh... Domino's Fall is the worst. What's your favorite on Let's Go? Um, I think I put Radio as my favorite. It's pretty easy. Radio is the best song on that album pretty handily. The only thing is that all the other songs are like good 1A, 1B, and 1C to Radio. Radio is a great song, but there's a lot of really good songs on that album. Um, I can't even remember what I said this, the worst song was. What am I tripping about, though? I'm very confused about that. Uh, Evil's My Friend. I love this song. I love 
that song. Damn thing, hold your head up. Oh, I like that song too. A power inside. You are so respected. Cause that's already here. You look into an honest man's eyes now. Dude, I love this part of their career, man. Um, in the streets. Oh, shit. The cops have come out when the sun goes down. From down to dusk, well, the dead rock the town. When the corpses walk, they don't make a sound. Cause the baddest of the bad are coming around. It's wicked and it's wild and it's free, yeah. Cocky turns up from the hill to see, you know? Bro, I know people don't like this stuff, but I love it, man. Uh, Eddie says, best is back where I belong, worst is grave digger. Grave digger. Grave digger. Back where I belong. I don't know if it's the best one, but it's close. Uh, grave digger, grave digger. Okay. I don't know that it's the worst. It's not. Uh... Turn in your badges. I think it's pretty. Turn your badge. 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 Look, that's a, a very good example of lazy lyric writing, but I still like it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay, I think that's my least favorite song on the album. Now we're through with you. I don't really care for that song that much, but other than that, dude, I don't know, man. Um, Evil's My Friend's really good. Collision Course. The next one's going to be way harder, but... Diabolical? One man gives an opinion. Oh, so good. I love it. Oh, man. I do think Background Belongs pretty... Okay, that's a really good song. Let me see. Race your fist, raise your fist against the power. Raise your fist, suppress the power that exists. Oh my goodness, dude, it's so hard to pick a favorite on this one too. Goodness gracious, okay. Oh, no, oh, no. oh yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Bro, I don't know how they write such good songs this late in their life. I don't understand it. I haven't heard anything past Indestructible. You're tripping, bro. They're my favorite stuff of their whole careers. And I'll come the Wolves after Indestructible. Like, quite literally. Like, uh, let's go. Let's go, I'll come the Wolves, and then after Indestructible. That's wild, bro. You should listen to some of it. You might dig it. You might not like it at all, though. It's definitely got a different. They, they've like they've got a, like they've honed in on their like their sound. Um, down yeah. from down to dusk, well, the dead rock the town. Right. When the corpses walk, they don't make a sound. Cause the baddest of the bad are coming around. 
All right, I think I'm going to have to go with Back Where I Belong. I think you're right. It's really close. There's a lot of really good songs on here. But I think that Now We're Through With You is the worst song on Honor is all we know. But the best song is probably Back Where I Belong. A, another instance where all the other songs are just like 1A. It's such a good record, man. This one's going to be a little harder with Troublemaker because Troublemaker is one of my favorite Rancid albums easily. I love, love, love this record. Literally, I was listening to it with my kiddo earlier, dude. We were like jamming out. He loves it. Track Fast, Ghost of a Chance. Telegraph Avenue is so good. Dude. You can't be a Rancid fan and not like this. I'm sorry. It was so freaking good. Farewell, Lola Blue. My car is literally named Lola because of this song. Or my wife's car is. Uh, an intimate close-up of a street punk troublemaker is one of, yeah it's one of my favorite songs like period good point it's got subtitles but it's the most intelligible vocal performance ever by Tim <laughs> oh man Telegraph Avenue is so good I love that song um, Bava Rock and Roll is probably my favorite dude this song's so good Oh, good, dude. <laughs> um, let's see. Molly, make up your mind. I got them old time. It blues again. Let's see. Cold, cold blood. Okay, no, that's a good song. All right, so I, I'd say that, yeah, All American Neighborhood is probably the my least favorite song on the record. And I'm going to have to go with the best song being an intimate close-up of a street punk troublemaker, but it's followed incredibly close by Bava Rock and Roll. Um, I've been on here for a long time. I'm getting tired of sitting here. It's been over two hours. i got another live stream tonight. So let me go ahead and wrap this up. Let me go to their newest album. Uh, Tomorrow Never Comes. I'll probably just leave this up on the on the channel for you guys to watch. I hope everybody likes it and had a good time. I'm having a blast. Even if we argue, I just I love hanging out with everybody on here. It's so it's it's so fun. Alright. This album Bro, what? I love this record so much. Alright, let's see. Okay, I already know what my favorite songs are. But they have a their their first song is the title track is an incredibly strong first single. It's ridiculous. Tomorrow Never Comes by Rancid. So, my daughter loves this album a lot. I can't wait to see him play some of these songs. I hope they play at least a couple. Uh, Devil in Disguise is one that we all like in this house. We all sing it together. My daughter loves it. Beware who's around you hiding in plain sight. Beware who's around you in the broad daylight. Beware who's around you cause the truth just might. It may be the devil in disguise. Beware who's around you hiding in plain sight. Beware who's around you in the broad daylight Beware who's around you cause the truth just might It may be the devil in disguise Yeah, it may be the devil in disguise Bro, I 
I love seeing these dudes hanging out together playing music, man. New Americans, really good. The Bloody Violent History, so good. Don't Make Me Do It might be... Uh, yeah, let's see. Hey, Pedro, Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> Okay, so I used to really not care for that song much, but I think I've really come to like it a lot. I think my favorite songs on the album, I have to agree with Bruno here. I think that the best songs are the title track, uh, Tomorrow Never Comes, and Live Forever. Live Forever is very short. Let's play that one on the way out of here. Um, I think Don't Make Me Do It is my least favorite song on the record. It's just, I don't really care for it. It's not bad. I just don't, I don't skip it. It's like not even a minute long, but I don't really, you know. Live forever. This is a... What a fantastic way to close the show. Um, I do want to comment at the Green Day show coming up next week. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins are not playing our date, and I'm hoping that opens up some time for maybe either a couple more Rancid songs or a collab with Green Day and Rancid somehow. I'm going to film the sets, and I'll put it up on the channel for everybody. Uh, also, I really, really love the drums on this record. It just is like Brandon's record. I love it, man. Uh, Ghost Bastards, hi from Buenos Aires. Oh, wow. Let's go. Yeah, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, oh, man. As I watch the sun go down as the night just begun, this is my home now. I am a new American. Oh, love it. So good, dude. Yeah, man. There's so many good songs. That record's amazing. I love it. Um, I've had some time to sit on it. I'm going to redo a Rancid album ranking video pretty soon. I'm sure you guys know where some of them will go, but um, it should be a good time. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, help me grow the community. We're almost at 7,000 and that's incredible because that means that we're almost at 10K and 10K is the first big, uh, you know, thing. Oh, the Rancid and Green Day in Denver on Saturday. Nice, dude. Um, yeah, I'll be there on uh, Tuesday in Austin with my family. I'm taking my wife and kids. It's their first Rancid show. I'm fucking excited, man. Uh, Bruno, good talking with you, brother. Uh, Eddie, everybody, dude. Cam, if you're still here. Richie, everybody, man. Um, yeah, you only got 30 minutes when you saw them pumpkins at 75. Hope you get to see a longer Rancid set. I heard it was 45 minutes is what I was hearing. So I don't know. I hate Smashing Pumpkins, but I'll take 30 minutes over zero. I love this band, dude. And honestly, dude, uh, shorter sets just means more songs that I love, less that I don't want to hear. or what. I don't know, man. I, I try to look at things positively. Every song Rancid plays, I'm going to love. I, I would watch them play... Uh, three what... I don't know. I'm, I'm hungry and I gotta go take care of my kids. So, uh, all right. Good songs have some Ramones can be sure. Uh, yeah, for sure. 
All right, guys, I'm out of here, man. Y'all, y'all are awesome, dude. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you real, real soon. I'll see y'all tonight. I'll be back. On, I'll be live again in like three hours. So just come hang back out in a little bit, dude. See y'all soon. Peace.